for me, when I was reading it, I thought the point is how uh, the news covered the news. The fact that, I mean, I, I actually didn't live in a time when news was a public trust. And I'm sad about that because I feel like that's when people were getting the best news. The President of the United States may have gone AWOL from the military. He never even showed up. Those parts of his file they didn't like, they tossed in a wastebasket. Do you have these documents? These really are the holy grail of documents. Tonight, we have new information on the President's military service. For a first-time director, when you're working with Kate Blanchett and Robert Redford, yeah. is, that, is that reassuring or is that intimidating? I just, I, I had to kind of look at it as a good thing and not, not be intimidated because I, I, I realized that, you know, listen, we're all, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to make a movie. You're all working together. And if I sat there and was intimidated by them, I would be doing them a disservice because they had chosen to be there. They had chosen to play these roles. And, you know, if I just sat behind the monitor and went, oh, my God, that's Robert Redford. Oh, my God, look, Robert, he just did a Robert Redford-y thing. <laughs> you know, then, then, then I'm, I'm sort of leaving them, you know, out, you know, without, you know, just sort of, sort of floating out there in the abyss. So, mm -hmm. And Jamie was great about not being too intimidated about me. I was, yes. Well, that, was, was, the very, that yeah. was the next I was question. Very really, yeah, yeah, and I appreciated that. Don't look Topher in the eye. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> now, when you were on the set, I mean, because there were a lot of Australian crew members, did they know this story? Did they ask you about it? I, I imagine more because they read the script, but promoting this, I, I, did a, I was doing a film in England, so I did a bunch of uh, promotion for this in England. And uh, they don't really know who Dan Rather is. Mm -hmm. I mean, they know uh, a little bit, but he's not their anchorman. Uh, and what I realized is that actually has you see the film in kind of a different way, I think, is that people realize what it says about journalism more easily, you know, which is mm -hmm. to me that great speech that Bob makes as Dan at the end of the film, where he kind of says what news used to be and then what it is today. And, and you realize this is just a guy whose career has spanned from where it started to, I mean, I think when we were at that dinner, he said, um, you know, when I took over for Walter Cronkite, <laughs> And I went, whoa, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that's, I mean, so it's from where we were with, Concre with uh, Cronkite to yeah. where we are now, <laughs> wherever that is. You've all worked on big, big movies. Yeah. Do, do, you, do you ever think, I, 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 got, I got to do something uh, small and. Oh, yeah. Oh, Absolutely. it's preferred. They, yeah. And they all take a really long period. I mean, this, this movie we were working on for seven years. The same amount, it's the same amount of time. So. And they're harder yeah. to make every day. Right. I mean, every day of the process in a lower budget movie is harder because you can't throw money at a problem. You know, when you're working in a smaller budget, you, you don't have that option. Right. So you do have to figure out other ways around things. OK, just just give us a ballpark figure about how many uh, lawyers read this script before you started shooting. Brad Fisher. Are you going to toss that one? <laughs> That's all you. Man. Uh, several. <laughs> There, there's, there's an E and O lawyer that looks over it, and there's, there's fair use, right? Because we, we couldn't get formal permission. CBS wasn't gonna, you know, come Strangely, in and say, oh, "Where do we were not on board." So it was, it was a matter of being accurate to events in the past, and, um, and having, having the script looked at and annotated, and, and looking at, at history, and you know, thankfully. Um, something like fair use exists so that stories like this can be told. Why did I have to play a grandmother? I should, I could play a great grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I think I will be doing a sequel called Great Grandmother. <laughs> <laughs>